Hi, beautiful people. How's everybody doing? Happy holidays. So, I know everybody else has kind of done their, you know, unboxings of the new Merry Christmas Beetle People box set, but I haven't done mine yet, because look what I got today. It's so pretty. So... I'm gonna open this sucker up, just do a really quick video since I'm sure you guys are sick of seeing, uh, seeing this, but you haven't seen me open it yet. So of course the first thing you get when you open up the lovely box, and of course here you have the front and there's the, the inside here, uh, you get your beautiful booklet. Now this comes with all of the little newsletters that would come out with each flexi disc back in the day. And so here I'll just kind of flip through it real quick. Messages and pictures. Look at those handsome boys. And uh it's funny that it ends in 1967, so for the Christmas messages that came out in 68 and 69, there was no newsletter. And then we kind of get started in on the discs themselves. So you have 1963's sincere good wishes for Christmas and the new year from the Beatles. And this one comes out on white vinyl, which I think is my new favorite. So you have the really cool Beatles fan club label on the front, and then the regular Beatles logo on the back, and that's how they're all presented. So then you have 1964's Another Beatle Christmas Record. Smiley happy boys. This particular guy is out on red vinyl. So you have the red label and that right there. Easy peasy quick video you guys. I know you're probably sick of seeing these all over the place. I've, I've enjoyed everybody else's videos you have the Beatles' third Christmas record from December 65 that comes in a lovely blue vinyl. Then you have 1966 pantomime and that, of course, is on what we like to now call Mean Mr. Mayo Neon <laughs> Yellow Vinyl with, of course, the logo on the back. Then you have 1967s with a back cover sleeve design by a five-year-old Julian Lennon. And this, of course, came out on green, very festive, red label, green vinyl, with the Beatles logo on the back. Then you have Christmas of 1968, with a clear vinyl, which is very cool. I've never seen clear vinyl before. And then the regular Beatles logo there on the B side, which uh, 68 and 69, for those of you that do not have this set yet, uh, has an A side and a B side, which all the others were just shorter messages. So they just had one side. And then finally, December of 1969, which this back cover art is done by a very young Zach Starkey, 
comes in an orange vinyl. Ooh, ah. Then, of course, the back label there. Some things that I kind of noticed as I was listening to these earlier, because yes, I had to listen to them all right away, and they the sound quality is fantastic. Um, it's really funny to see kind of how lazy the Beatles got. Or not lazy, they just kind of weren't into it anymore as the years progressively went by. You could tell in 1963 and 1964 that it was totally and completely scripted. Um, <coughs> they had more fun with it. And it was cool. It was pre-social media. You know, you couldn't get, you know, to know everything that happened with your favorite group. And they sent you a personal message for the, you know, for Christmas and the New Year, which is pretty badass. No other group of uh, that time kind of did stuff like that. The Beatles, you know, once again, a first for everything. Um, nowadays, you could just go on Facebook and, you know, your favorite artist will record a quick video and post it on their page. It's like, all right, cool, I send Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, but these were neat and personable, and as the years went on, like 68 and 69 in particular, they're just uh, recording stuff in their own homes, sending it to the engineer, and the engineer would piece these together rather than the boys going into the studio, bashing it out really quick. You know, it really shows, um, unfortunately, the, uh, the decline of the Beatles. But anyway, this is an absolutely fantastic set. If you have not ordered yours yet, I know there's only a limited amount that they made. Uh, if you are a diehard Beatles fan and you have not picked this up yet, do yourself a favor. Go track it down. Find it. Love it. Caress it. <laughs> All right, guys. Until next time, I hope everyone has a very happy holiday. And if I don't talk to you guys sooner, a very happy new year, a happy 2018. And until next time, as always, peace and love. See ya.